you know, you do it and it's there. I'd always loved theater. My parents started a Yiddish theater in Edmonton. Not, they weren't professionals, just to do a play once or twice a year so that the community would keep in touch with their heritage. And when I was six or seven, I was helping to paint the sets and even sometimes help a little on building the sets. When I was nine or 10, I was acting with the long beard and the, the long payas, as we called them. And uh, again, my love of theater. And at high school, there was love of theater because the drama teacher, Eva O. Howard was her name, and she uh, just taught so well. Later I realized she even picked social comment kind of plays. And uh, so that enhanced my love of theater. Then when I finished, when I graduated, a professor from Ohio State came up to Edmonton to do a six-week course for teachers on how to teach drama. And he taught them by putting on a play and they had to build the sets and get the props and the costumes and direct the actors, you know, they had to act, everything like that. And he was short two actors and he phoned, he spoke to the high school drama teacher and he asked her who were the best kid actors. And uh, I ended up playing Donald, the black servant, and uh, I'd forgotten the play it was in. And from that, I was offered a drama scholarship to Ohio State. And I thought, that's not what you do for a living. I mean, that's what you do on weekends. And uh, I instead went, you know, joined the RCAF and went over to Europe and did the bombings and came back and went to University of Toronto and obviously continued with drama there. And uh, with Harvey Hart, who came down here later as a director also. And uh, the, uh, oh, he and I would do a uh, satiric sort of uh, vaudeville kind of you know, a 45 minute program once a year that was all satiric. So I guess I had some of that in with me. Mm -hmm.